Uh, hi class, so today I'm going to attempt to um, show you how to program the electric kiln. Uh, it's a little complicated, but if we first look at all the buttons available here, the program to the button that you press to start the input and program is called enter program. If you press enter program and if you see nothing happening, it means that this thing's been sitting for a while. It's kind of falling asleep, so it doesn't do anything. So what you want to do is press either enter or stop, and you'll notice that okay, it's awake. Now if you press enter program, it'll prompt to user, and then right now it's flashing user six. Uh, it's asking you which program you want to use. There's user 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Um, just for your knowledge, user 1 through 4 is always set. That's not changed though. Those are for class firings. But user 5 and 6, you can change anytime you want. And also be warned that somebody might have changed the last program that you put in there. So uh, let's just go with user number 5 and then press enter. Again, it doesn't matter 5 or 6. I'm just going to use 5. Once you press enter, it's now going to ask you segments. Right now it says segment one. It's asking you how many segments do you want in this program. Uh, for this exercise, let's do, uh, we want to do a firing to 1500 degrees and it's uh, greenware, relatively thin. We don't know exactly, but I, you can just guess and just pick a number, I'm gonna go with five. And with experience, you'll know exactly how many you need. So I'm gonna press five and enter. Basically what I told you is that in this program, I'm gonna tell you five steps. So now it's gonna ask you, RA1 stands for ramp one. It means that, okay, let's begin writing step one. How fast do you want to go? Ramp stands for temperature per hour. So ramp one, so I'm gonna put, tell it to go 200 degrees an hour. I'm gonna press 200 and enter. Next, it's gonna go F, means what temperature you want to go to. I'm gonna tell it to go to 240 degrees. Press enter. HLD stands for hold. It's asking you, well, once you get to 250, 40 degrees, how long do you want me to hold that temperature there? I'm gonna tell it to hold it there for one hour. Press enter. And the next, it's gonna go RA2, which stands for ramp two. So that concludes section one. Now we're into section two. Now we can finally see what we're gonna do. So section ramp two, it's asking how fast you wanna go. I'm gonna tell it to go very slow, 35 degrees per hour and it's asking what temperature you want to go on the second one, I'm going to tell it to go to 400 degrees. And I'm going to press enter. And it's asking you how long do you want to hold once you get to 400? I'm going to tell it, no, you don't need to hold anymore. So go zero and press enter. Ramp number three. So now we're into segment three. So now you know it's going to ask you for a ramp, temperature, and hold for each section that you're going to put in. So ramp number three, I'm going to tell it to go 75 degrees an hour. To, uh, let's go to 700 degrees. I'm gonna tell it to hold zero. By the way, you don't need to press zero if it's already flashing zero. It means that the last person also did zero. So to speed up, just press enter. Now we're in section four. Uh, I'm gonna go faster. I'm gonna go 120 degrees an hour. Press enter. And I'm gonna tell it to go to 1150 degrees. And press enter. And we don't need to hold at all. It's flashing 10 minutes. I don't want it to hold it for 10 minutes. I'm gonna tell it to hold zero. And press enter. And ramp five, this is our last segment. So I'm gonna tell it to go 300 degrees an hour. And I want it to go to 1500. And then I'm gonna not hold for two hours because that would be a waste of electricity. I'm gonna tell it to hold it there for 15 minutes. Press enter. Lastly, I'll say alarm, H up. ALRM stands for alarm. It's asking you, well, what temperature would you like me to sound the alarm? Usually I'll say 9,999, and that's good for me because we don't really need that alarm to go off anytime. So I'm gonna press enter. When it says CPL means complete. So you have successfully entered uh, program number five. If you press start now, it'll activate the very last program that you uh, input, and, uh, and it will go. Um, I will also, have another video talk, telling, uh, explaining all those temperatures and the significance of which is, for instance, why does he go 35 degrees an hour? Why is he going faster at this temperature? And why is he going to 1150 degrees? There are uh, significance to those numbers. Um, by the way, 35 degrees an hour is the slowest 
that this, these kilns are programmed to go. It can't go any slower than that. Uh, that might be wrong one day, maybe new advanced kilns can go slower than that, but for now, it's very, very slow. It's one degree every two minutes, so it's a very slow climb. And that usually ensures uh, all the moistures are uh, driven out slowly and safe.